Due to the busy week, I thought I'd jump in and help do the desk, so welcome to this week's rate review. I'm Mike. Okay, I'm here with Sage Whipple to talk about the ball party. So Sage, this was like a tournament, right? Yes, yeah, so basically we, um, as a team, you played everyone, and then you got a spot for your bracket, mm -hmm. and then it was like a single elimination bracket. What team won? Um, the Kiss My Ace team, it was like Braden Strauss, Emily Snyder, and D. John, that team. How do you feel that your team did? We did really well, actually, better than I thought. Um, I kind of put our team together the last day. Mm -hmm because they needed another one, so I told her that we could get a group around, so we did what we could. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Colton and Nate have the Bach and Rock wrap up for us. Caleb, we're here to talk about his performance last night in Bacchera. So Caleb, what song did you perform? Last night I performed an Italian song called Caro Mio Bien with Dylan Ring. It's an Italian love song. Then I performed um, in Bohemian Rhapsody, and I also performed in uh, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. Alright, so what was it like to perform these songs in front of an audience? It was really fun. Um, I'm used to performing a lot more um, musical theater stuff, and getting to do this kind of rock. Uh, this whole rock show was really fun. Right. And would you do it again? And what song would you perform? Um, if I could do anything again, I'd probably do Another Brick in the Wall again, because I love that a lot. But uh, definitely Meatloaf. A lot of people wanted to see me do Meatloaf, because they're... <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time. And a great performance last night. Thank you. Mr. Brown, we're going to talk about his performance in the Bach and Rock. So, Mr. Brown, what song did you perform? Uh, I actually sang Free Falling, a song by Tom Petty, um, but I played guitar as a backing for all the other songs, too. Right. And how was there a confident role? I think it went really well. We had a few hiccups here and there, but that kind of stuff happens with live music. Um, but I think the show went really well. People had a good time. I mean, the audience, the band, the singers, I think everybody had a really good time. All right. And what was it like for you to perform that song? Um, you know, it's a little bit nerve-wracking thinking about it before you go up and sing, but for me, when I'm singing and in the moment, it's fine. It's just kind of doing what needs to be done, and it's pretty enjoyable. And when it's all over, it's kind of like, wow, uh, okay, I did that. Right, and would you do something like this again? I would love to. It was a lot of fun. I have no problem doing something like this again. All right, thank you for your time. We were this last night. She's a good girl. Loves her. solo song was Zombie by the Cranberries, and then I did back up for Come Together, Free Falling, and I did a Latin, not Latin, I did an Italian song called uh, O Del Mio Dolce, and that was probably my favorite one. I felt very good about that one. And what was it like performing in front of all these people? Honestly, it takes a second to um, get used to it. But then you focus more on the music and you focus more like on your own self and you become more comfortable and you just get to have fun. And then what song would you perform if you could do this again? I could do it again. I would love to do more of the cranberries and I'd love to do more of come together. I thought those were my favorite songs. Hey, 
Next up, we have an interview with Emily Wolfgang about the Region Band. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm here with Emily to talk about band regionals. So, what did you place this year? I placed eighth out of 14. Um, did you enjoy your time there? I enjoyed it very much. I met a lot of new people and made friends with a lot of new people. So, compared to this year, what do you think you can work on? Um, definitely, the scores that the judges gave me this year made me think a lot more about um, taking music a lot more seriously. So I'm going to be taking lessons for next year. Thank you, Emily. Next up, we have some interviews on the computer fair planning process with Alex and Austin. I'm Alex Griffiths. I'm here with Kevin. And uh, currently, Kevin is taking part in the PA computer fair. So what is your group doing? Well, first of all, my group is myself, Zach, and Cade, and we are doing a documentary on our broadcasting class that describes the skills that we use in the real world. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Yep. I'm Alex Griffith, and I'm here with Gabe. So, what is your group doing for the PA Computer Fair? Uh, well, for the Computer Fair, me and my group are doing a video on a s'mores roaster. Okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I think it is. Thank you, Gabe. Yeah, thank you. I'm Alex Griffith, and I'm here with Devin. So, what are you doing for the PA Computer Fair? So, for the Computer Fair, um, we're doing more of some acting. With the main character being called Faith, um, we have this fantastic film crew with me that's going to make this a epic, abandoned story. It's going to be awesome. Okay, thank you, Devin. Next up, we have an interview with Brendan Rooker. Hi, I'm here with Brendan. So, Brendan, I heard you were in a musical. What's the name of the musical? Um, the, the musical is Jungle Buck of Community Theater Lake. Oh, and who do you play in there? Um, I play, um, I play Mowgli. All right. Why are you liking it so far? Um, I'm, I am liking it very well. All right, thank you very much. Yep, thank Let's you. see what Hessler's helping with this week on Hessler's Hope. Well, today we're going to be teaching you about St. Patrick's Day, just in case you have no idea. Now, St. Patty's Day brings about one good thing. Well, many good things, but one good thing in particular. The Shamrock Shake. Now, I know what you're thinking. The Shamrock Shake, that can't be that all that St. Patrick's important about. But deep down inside, we all know that it is. Another important St. Patty's Day tradition is finding the four-leaf clover. Now you might look upon a vast open field with luscious green grass and clovers everywhere, and you might think, man, this is going to take way too much time. Just go inside, get yourself a shamrock shake, call it a day. Well, another important thing to make sure you do during St. Patty's Day is working. Because if not, someone can pinch you. Pinching people really hurts, okay? I don't even know why it's a tradition. Well, thank you for tuning in this week's episode of Hester's Help. Hello everyone, I'm here with Get Guy, and recently Get went to Junior Kai Band. So in band, Get plays the trombone. So, what was the idea on Kai Band? Like every year that they do it, it's hard on your lips because you're playing so much, but it's fun to meet new people every year and meet old friends that you were friends with before. So, what was this at? This year it was at Montoursville High School. And how long does this usually Roughly take. The concert normally takes around an hour-ish in preparation. We have two two-hour practices. Then we have a festival day that we're there all day, and then leading up to the concert, we're there from nine till around lunch when the concert normally starts. So, yeah, what's your favorite thing about Junior County Band? It probably has to be being able to see like people's other styles, like how they play their instruments and then incorporate it into your own and experimenting more after you see what works well for other people. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Radio Review. I'm Mike, and we'll see you next time.